Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. I got a little something in the mail today. And this is, ooh, some stickers from GetFPV. Um, I bought this, they didn't send it to me. Uh, but this is the Sonic Model Sky Hunter Power Combo. And I'm really excited about this because I was looking at this and it has pretty much like, it's, it's the same kind of idea as like the flight test power packs. And so what we're gonna do today is actually take it out. We're gonna, this is just gonna be like an unboxing. We're gonna hook up some of the components and see how they are. Uh, we're not gonna do any flights or anything like that, but eventually I'll, I'll put this in an aircraft and get some more information about that. But I just wanted to bring you along, uh, kind of a first-hand unboxing and check to see how the quality is on all these components. So we've got a motor, we have an ESC here, and this looks like a pretty legit ESC, very small, it's a 30 amp ESC. And what I like about this is that, like I said, I think that this might compete with the flight test power packs um, because it's like ha half or less than half the cost of a flight test power pack, which is kind of crazy, kind of crazy. And this would be like uh, compared to the power pack A because this is like a little, I think it's an 1806, 1806 motor here. Let's just bust it out. Let's plus this thing out here. It comes with a mount. So, and it's got these little, um, I believe two millimeter bullet connectors. And then here, this is an 1806, 2400 KV motor. Feels pretty good. Seems pretty smooth. You got some nice, pretty nice design there with the cooling fins and everything. It's got a lock nut. Very good, so far so good. It's got a little mount for it as well. It also comes with a propeller. This is a, this is a five by four five propeller. So just a pretty simple propeller. And here's the best part. It comes with three servos. And right now this is like, it's right around $30. I'll have links in the description to get FPV and then also Banggood. You can get it a little cheaper on Banggood. And it comes with three servos. And I'm like, dang, this could be really fantastic because here's the thing. Usually, like, well, one, it's hard to find all these components for this cheap. And then it's also hard to find all these components together. Um, because, like, you can get cheap, uh, you know, power combos on Amazon and they're like maybe 20 bucks or something, but they, they look really sketchy. The ESCs look super cheap. It just doesn't seem very like very good quality. And then the biggest thing, the biggest thing is it's very, very hard to find a power combo like this that has an uh, XT60 or XT30 connector. This one's an XT60. And that's gonna be like, you know, really common for your, like your, your uh, uh, drone, you know, FPV drone type batteries. I mean, that's, I think it's just like the most common now. Um, either XT60 or XT30. So this way you don't have to get an adapter or whatever. Um, I, you would need a, an adapter if you were using a smaller battery. But anyway, and then on the ESC, it also has this little power cable. This is probably like five, I think five volts or something like that to power like um, FPV gear, which is awesome. And then it's got this, which is gonna connect to your servo. Again, it's uh, 30 amp. So this is a, oh, this is actually a fly color. 30 amp, two to four cell, five volt, two amp BEC, I guess it's BEC, uh, Fly Dragon light. So that looks, that looks really good. Right now I have very, very high hopes, high expectations for this. And so I'm very excited because I know a lot of you guys have been asking like, you know, what's a good beginner, um, you know, beginner budget uh, kit for all these like electronics and stuff. Uh, especially if you want to build your own airplane or maybe like uh, build a flight test plane. Um, and I haven't really had a good answer because they're just really hard to find. Basically flight test has been the best, the best uh, option. But the thing is their kits are like, I think like $70, $75, which can be really steep if like, cause that's just the electronics and no battery or anything like this. Whereas this, it's like $30 and you get three servos uh, let's see, two of these servos have long, 
Let's see what kind of does it say what kind of servos? I think it 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 says online, but I don't know what kind of servos these are because they're not marked. But so you get these this pretty long extension. It's probably like I don't know ten inches, and then you have this short one right here which is totally fine because if you're just using a three channel airplane, you really only need two of these. And then maybe you can use this as like a backup or something. We got the motor here with the nice bullet connectors and you know, everything is labeled, which is really great. We've got a mount here. Looks like plastic. Oh, is that actually carbon fiber? Oh, it's like a carbon fiber mount. Oh, dang. It's something like it's like carbon fiber. It's some sort of a some sort of a composite fiber material. That dang, that's pretty sweet. That is that's actually wow. I'm really impressed with that. Now the thing is, this kit is not actually uh, like they don't market it as like a beginner kit. They market it as a power combo for one of their um, one of Sonic models, you know, airplanes. Um, the Sky Hunter, I think. I think is what it said. Yeah, so I think this is really interesting because this could be a fantastic beginner option. And like I said, um, we're gonna find out more, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys because I know, you know, uh, Black Friday, all these deals and stuff are coming up. So if this is something that you're looking into, just wanted you guys to be aware of this in case there are some really good deals on it. Um, pretty decent propeller. Yeah, doesn't seem like super cheap, very, very basic, but Probably, probably really fast. Cool. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to get this set up kind of in a configuration here. And we'll test it out. I'm not going to put the propeller on right now. I just kind of want to do a dry run of everything. So, we'll hook up the motor here. I actually like that there's not a bunch of extra leads here. I think that's makes it really clean. Now you're not going to have as much length, like you can only have your battery so far from your motor, but um, I, I kind of like that. I think it kind of keeps everything really clean. Let's see here. Let's uh, let's get a, a, a receiver here. I'm going to use a FlySky uh, IA6B. So we'll plug this into the channel 3. Uh, ground on the bottom. Ground is down, and then we'll plug these guys just into the servo ports, just like that. Okay, we got our servos. Actually, let me go ahead and attach the servo arms so we can actually see them move and kind of get an idea of the resolution on the servos. Let me turn my transmitter on here. And then we'll plug in our battery. Hopefully nothing goes poof. Let's try it. Oh gosh, that scared me for a second. It's just the servos. Um, wow, that's a very quiet little beep there. Uh, so this is a three cell battery. And let me just support the motor before I run it here. Oh, something's twitching. Something, sounds like something's twitching. Let's see here. Ooh, that's a smooth little motor. Mm, I'm feeling a little bit of a little bit of jumpiness, a little kind of a little stickiness, um, right there. Now I don't know if that's just my transmitter giving it more power all of a sudden, but I mean it's pretty, you know, it's pretty smooth. I mean, again, for the price, the, you know, the whole kit for thirty dollars. Like, yeah, the qual I think that's definitely good enough quality. Let's try out the servos here. These are pretty small servos. They're probably like five gram servos, I would guess. I don't know if you can hear that. We do have some twitching, like quite a bit of twitching kind of sounds or just I'm not totally sure, but I mean, these would be, these would be plenty strong for, you know, just a little backyard flyer type of thing. Let's see, we've got channel, there we go. So yeah, I think they're, I think they're plenty fast, for sure. Seems like they have pretty darn good resolution as well. And we have this other one. Yep. 
Yeah, that's actually, that's actually, I'm really impressed with that. I'm very happy that all of the servos seem to work well because I was really thinking like, oh man, the, they probably won't be very good. But at least if they give you three, then you, you know, you have a backup servo if you're just using a three channel airplane. Uh, let me get my multimeter and we'll see how much voltage is this thing putting out. We're showing, okay, we're actually showing about 11.62 volts. So I'm thinking that's probably actually gonna be like the, um, that's probably actually the battery voltage. It's probably, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's regulated. Let, let me grab a different battery and we'll find out. Okay, here's a four cell battery. Yeah, 15.9. Yeah, okay, so this little lead right here is actually just giving you battery, uh, whatever your battery voltage is. So it's coming off the main battery. So I think uh, the good thing about that is that if you wanna hook up some sort of FPV gear or something, you don't have to run it through your receiver and then um, you know potentially not get enough uh, amperage because I think it's just taking, it's, we're just tapping straight off of the battery voltage right there. So that is, that's actually good. You just have to keep in mind, whatever you hook up to this, it better be able to accept the voltage of your, of your main battery so you don't smoke anything. And let's just see what this guy sounds like on closer to four cell. Dang, can you hear that? That's pretty sweet. I am I'm excited about this, man. I am excited about this. This is this is this is this is pretty sweet, man. Like cuz 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 look, you could do you could have potentially, right? Like you could spend $30. You got all your electronics. Well, okay, except for the receiver. But check this out, right? So, say you starting from scratch. Spend $30, you get your motor, your propeller even, three servos, ESC, Okay, and then you could buy one of these if you're into Fly Sky, forty-five to fifty dollars with a receiver. Okay, so then so you've got that. So right now, you know, you're looking at maybe seventy dollars all in, and then you just need like you know another maybe twenty dollars for a battery and a simple charger setup. You know, and you might be able to find some even better deals there. You know, and of course the battery price is going to change depending on what kind of battery you want and how big and all that sort of stuff. But so we're talking like under uh, actually under a hundred dollars and you could start scratch building. If you buy a kit, like a foam board kit from flight test, it's going to be, you know, that's probably going to take you a little bit over a hundred dollars, but that's awesome because I have been looking for this, this specific kind of thing. Maybe this has been out for a long time. I don't know, but um, I'm glad I found it now. So that's, that's probably, that's exciting. Once I get this thing, testing this out in an actual airplane. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have some videos about this and maybe even some giveaways, hint, hint. So that's something to look forward to. Dang. So there you have it. That's the Sonic Model uh, Power Hunt, pow, Power, Power, what am I saying here? The Sonic Model Sky Hunter Power Combo. I'm really excited about this. If you are as well and you wanna check this out, I will have links to uh, get FPV and Banggood in the description. Uh, you can get it a little cheaper from Banggood, but the shipping might be faster if you buy from get FPV uh, if you're in the United States. Uh, but man, I would definitely check this out if you are looking for a uh, just a, a beginner starter power combo. This thing looks fantastic. Thanks for joining me. This was just kind of a an impromptu uh, little, little tabletop review here. Um, but yeah, you're, I think you're gonna see a lot more of this in the future. And hey, if you have any uh, questions about this or specific things that you want me to check out, please leave me a comment. And if you have this kit, uh, I'd love to know how it's working out for you. So leave me a comment about that as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate you and I'll see you again very soon. Mm -hmm.